Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can add hyperlinks to an image inside of Google Drawings. Someone asked me about this recently as an alternative to using ThingLink. It's not the perfect alternative, but it is an alternative to using ThingLink. So here's how to get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an image. So let's upload from the computer. And I have this image here of a giant buffalo statue in Jamestown, North Dakota and I'm just going to center it up on the page. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to add a little marker on the image that will contain my hyperlink. Now, I can do that in a lot of ways. I can write text on the page and say something like click here. Right? So I can do this and say click here and then make that font a little bit larger so it stands out. So I can do that and then select the option to hyperlink. But that's not the most elegant solution that's available. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these shapes. So I'll use the shapes, and in this case, I'll just use a circle. And I'm going to click right here. And we can make that circle larger or smaller. Now that's kind of a boring light gray color. So I'm going to change that fill color to something that stands out a little bit. So I'll use this purple here, or magenta as they call it. And I can make it stand out even more by putting a larger border around it. I'm going to put a big border around it, and I can even change that border color to something like red as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hyperlink that circle that I've just put on the page. So I have this article here about the world's largest buffalo, and I'm going to insert a link. And now on that image, when someone clicks on that circle, they'll also see the link and they can click to the link. Now I want to share this with my students. So I'll just click the share button in the upper right hand corner, select get shareable link, and I'll say they can view it. If I wanted them to edit, obviously I'd choose the edit option. Now you can also share this in Google Classroom if you're a Google Classroom user. Here's how my students will now see this. So students see it that way. They can click on the dots and they're taken to that page. Now obviously you could link to anything that's on the web. You can link to a video. You can link to an audio recording. And you can put as many of these little place markers on the image as you would like. So that's one way to use Google Drawings as an alternative to ThingLink. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.